Guys, so in this video, I would like to walk you through how you get this new directory that you created. For example, you have launched your new WordPress directory and you want this to be found on Google. These are the steps that you could do in order to fast track the appearance of this new directory on Google. So the very first thing that you have to do is add your directory to Google Search Console. So it's very important as you can see here, one of my directories. So let's dash Australia. When it got lunch, immediately, I added this to Google Search Console so that it would appear to Google Search Result in the next 24 hours. It's important that your website is indexed on Google. Suppose you want to monetize it. One example is, as you can see here, this Toilets-Australia is Google AdSense review. So before you can apply to Google AdSense, pages in your website to be indexed on Google. So that's one requirement. That's why to easily index your uh, new website. So this is our new directory, which is reiki-ou.directory. If you want to see how this was built, I put the link in the description below and in the comments below so you can watch the entire process. But in this video, I'm just showing you how you can easily expose this to Google. Now, it's very easy. So what you need to do is add your site right here. You can choose this option, the domain option right here and add the property. So I'm just going to grab a copy of the URL. Now paste that right here. So make sure there's no HTTP because you're adding the domain property. So click on continue. So from here, Search Console will provide you this detail. So what you just need to do is copy this and you need to modify your DNS, add this TXT record, which is very simple to do. So my directory is hosted in Hostinger. So as you can see right there, and the name servers are also configured in Hostinger. That's why I am able to go to the domains and search for that domain name, which is right here. I'm going to click this manage Anish and here I'm going to add a new record. As you can see here, you can select TXT, leave the name as is and paste the record that Google Search Console provided you right here and then click on add record. So once the TXT record is there, wait for a few minutes, then you will be able to verify this. So I'm just going to leave it for a while to be able for the new DNS record to propagate. And later on, I can click this verify. And as you can see, it's cool, fast in just one minute. I was able to click on verify and detected. So we can click on done or go to property. And as you can see right here, reiki-au directory has been added. So you just need to come back here after 40 hours to see if it's already appearing on Google search. The next thing that you should do, it's very important to add your new website or new directory to Microsoft being webmaster tools. This is for being search result to recognize your new website. This is also very simple. You can integrate your Google search console and add those websites to here. So what you just need to do is click this add site right here. And there's an option to import from Google Search Console. Since we already verify that here in our Google Search Console, now we can easily import that single website. So we're going to do this import. So just click on continue. So select the Google account that you want being to access and the Google account where your directory site has been added. That's connected to Google Search Console. So you will see right here. So just choose the site that you want to add. So I'm going to choose this new directory website that we just recently added. Click on import. And that's it. Your site has been added to Webmaster Tools. Again, you can come back after 48 hours to see whether it's already appearing in being search result. So you can go to the next step. So this is another important thing that you should do. If your website or your directory site is new, make sure to add that to Google Analytics. This is one way Google will detect or find your website, especially if it's new. So what we have to do is very simple. Click this create so you can have multiple accounts in one single Google Analytics account. So here in the create, make sure to select this party. And so from here, you can follow the steps. So we'll just name this as, so it doesn't matter the name, it's just for you to know the property name. You can change the currency and the location based on your preference. Click on next. And here, source, this is a Reiki directory. So you can just choose the other business activity and just choose more. Click on next. And in these business objectives, I always choose this, uh, understand the web traffic, and then the view user engagement retention. So that doesn't matter if you check everything, but just to keep it clean, I'm just choosing these two and then click on create. Now here in the platform, just choose web and add all of your website, which you can easily copy from the URL right here and paste that and the name of the website, just have it like that. All right. So it's up to you how you want the stream name to be named. So don't include HTTPS because it's already here. So we remove that and you'll see this button is enabled. Now click on create and continue. All right. So this pop-up window will appear. You just have to copy the Google analytics ID, which will be shown later. So here, even though you're in WordPress, you can just choose this install manually. All right. And copy this to your header in the WordPress heading script. 
The easiest way is just close this. You can just simply close this and you will have these details appeared. Now, this is the important ID that you should copy. Now click on copy. Here, go to your WordPress. Make sure to log in in your admin area. So from on my control panel in HostSkinner, I'm just gonna click this WP admin. And from here, I'm just gonna add a new plugin and then search analytics. So you will see this site hit by Google. I'd rather choose the one. So this one, GA Google Analytics, just for simplicity. So click install and then activate it. And from here, go to settings and you will see this Google Analytics. Now in the plugin settings, paste the ID that you copied earlier from Google Analytics account. So this measurement ID right here, and then click on save changes. All right, that's it. Again, wait for another 48 hours and then see if it's getting any data here in your analytics account. So as you can see, this is normal, no data received in past 24 hours. That's why it's important to come back here after 48 hours or after two days to see whether it's being tracked correctly. So those three important things you should do. If your new directory or your website is new and you want the website to be found on Google pretty easy and also on Bing search. Now, these next steps are optional. So I am also publishing a press release here in PR log. As you can see, some of my directories, I created a press release for them when I launched them. So you can do the same. This is free. You can go to prlog.org. I have a tutorial in the description below how you can easily add a press release here for free, which is very simple. It won't take you five minutes to launch your first press release right here and expose your new WordPress directory. So as you can see, some of the directory that I added, they're already getting traffic. The next website that you can also add your directory so that it gets exposed and gets some backlinks as well. Although these are not auto follow backlinks, even though there are no follow attribute, it's still helpful to send signals to Google that your website is existing. So those two websites I think will be enough for now. So again, the press release and then go to lacanto.com, create a free account. And here you will be able to create your new ads to promote your directory. I will show you an example of the ad that I created last time for my adder directory. So as you can see right here, when I launch this directory, CD of Evansville directory and city guide, I launch it in Evansville location. So you can see right here, it's already getting 612 traffic or visibility. Now just going through how we added the details. So whatever you add in the VR log, if you return some short articles right there, you can just easily put this here. What's important is you add a link right here, the website. So again, it sends signal to Google. So when you follow these five steps in the next 24 hours or maximum 48 hours, and when you search your website to Google, so after 48 hours, just search your website like this site and then your website URL, I assure you they will appear or they will get indexed. Most of the pages will get indexed on Google. So because we just added them, obviously they won't be there any pages on Google right now. I can give you an update later on after 48 hours or more to see whether our new directory has been indexed on Google. And after it get indexed on Google, and if you want to prepare for Google AdSense submission, make sure to create new articles in your directory. So if you want a guide on how to do that, so you can see we have a section here, latest articles. And if you see, we don't have any articles yet. I have also a guide in the description below. If you want to get Google AdSense approved, just like one of this directory right here. And I think uh, that's all the information I would like to share with you in this video. So hopefully that will help you uh, in order for your new website or new WordPress repertory appear on Google. If you have any questions, leave in the comment below. Let me know what you think. See you on the next one.